Hey, this is Merg Music, and today I'm doing a tutorial on the AVS HD Video Editor version 4.2. Now, to find this, it's very simple. It's avs4u.com, and under the video software, it'll have the AVS Video Editor. Now, all you have to do is download it. It's completely free. And once you get it, you can either click on the icon or I have object dock, so I'll just click it on the dock. And there it is. Now it's great because you can edit your videos, your HD videos, but the only thing is they only go up to 720 pixels for resolution, but I still think it's great. It's good quality. This is the non activated version, so you don't get all the features, but uh, most of the good ones you do get. The only problem is when you click to save your movie for YouTube and stuff it puts a banner in the middle of your video but it's nothing too bad alright so first thing is importing media to click that you'll click on file and import media library and this is where you can find all your videos whatever you need but I already have my stuff imported so you're gonna what you're going to do is you're gonna click on video and here's all the videos I've put on here and if you want to use it, you drag it into the timeline and it'll show up on there. First, you're going to click out of this and that'll show your video. And you can also add stuff like titles, so the titles will show up. You can add in audio. Uh, for clips and stuff, between clips, there's the you can do some trimming. You can slow down or increase the speed depending on what you need. Uh, there's transitioning. You can create the amount of transition you want for fading and stuff there's even a color mixer so you can like mess with the contrast and all the different stuff for your video and then you also have the audio which you can use to like use compressors and stuff or if you want something to be louder or if there's too much bass on something you can use the equalizer lower the bass and there's also the video effects there's all sorts of different ones. There's stuff like sepia, uh, watercolor, sharpen, which is like contrast on Movie Maker. And Movie Maker is okay, but your video quality gets lost somewhere in there. And there's also stuff like transitions, which is really cool. You can use all kinds of different stuff. I haven't even messed with stuff like this yet, but I probably should because it's really cool. You can use voice record, so you can just start recording and overlay it over a video or something if you want to do like I don't know anything if you want to do like a commentary so uh, you can click this button to save it you can use that to open or start new ones and you can put it in 4.3 uh, contrast aspect ratio or 16.9 and when you're done uh, besides just saving it you click you'll click save movie and this is pretty much the final thing. You can save it as a file on your computer. You can burn it to a disc like a movie. You can even put it in format for like an iPod. And then there's a web file. So I'm going to save it to the computer. And then you can choose the format you want to put it in. You can put it in AVI. I'm going to do a zoom so you can see that clearer. You can put it in AVI format, uh, MPEG. And the most recommended, I would have to say, is WMV because the pixelation is 1280 by 720, which is HD. And it loads pretty fast on YouTube, so if you're doing YouTube, it's pretty good. And it just loads fast overall. MOV files, uh, they're okay, but they're not the best. WMV is the best. So after that, you would click Next, and you can put in the Output folder, rename it. It tells you how much space you have left on your computer. And then you'll click create. And I've already created this video, so that's pretty much it. This is the AVS video editor version 4.2, non activated. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click the like button.